peace and blessings welcome back to the channel once again where we talk about all things health and healing from a holistic perspective and today will be no different actually today is going to be very different because i'm talking about this fruit here this fruit is known as sarsop or graviola uh, it is in the anona family uh, the anona americata okay so in that family you have other fruits like which we also have here on the farm as well at tamoya uh, sugar apple custard apple rolinha and so many more but these are just my favorite and I, we actually have all of those fruits right here on sankofa tropical farms now this particular fruit is not only nutritious but it's also very delicious and as you can see here this is the tree behind me and in a second i'm going to take the camera off the tripod and i'm going to give you sort of a overview of the tree to show you the flowers on the tree to show you the other fruit that are growing here on the tree as well too now what i love about this fruit in particular is not only is the fruit itself medicinal but the leaves are also medicinal as well too the leaves are really good for stomach pain so they've been used in herbalism for hundreds of years for stomach issues diarrhea also for pain overall anti-inflammatory and it's also good for calming the the nervous system okay uh, it has two compounds in it that are really good for calming the nervous system so if you have issues with depression anxiety it's good for that as well too that's just the leaves to drink as a tea and i usually drink this as a tea uh, probably not every morning but at least every other morning and they're also really good for high blood pressure as well just the leaves by themselves so if the leaves are that medicinal, you can imagine what the fruit is, okay? The fruit is really great because it's loaded with antioxidants. Now, most of you uh, are, fam when I say antioxidants, you're just familiar with maybe vitamin C. But there's also other antioxidants like flavonoids, uh, phytosterols, um, tannins as well too. And this is what makes this a very potent, um, you know, uh, anti-cancerous fruit. And this medicinal quality so if you go on the internet do your own research what you'll find and discover is that there's a lot of research not necessarily here in the u.s but abroad uh in the uk in europe and caribbean countries that not only have done studies to show that this is anti-cancerous but it also has been shown to shrink tumors as well too now uh, in terms of the taste this is my absolute favorite fruit in the world, not just for the taste, but also because it's nutritious and delicious. It tastes like a combination of pineapples and strawberry mixed, to that, mixed together with a little creamy texture to it, okay? Now, when it comes to this, I eat the fruit just how it comes. Now, this one isn't ripe, so it's a little hard. I'll give you a, another one. This one is ready for the eating, so we're gonna crack that open in just a second. But it is really tasty. I use it in smoothies. I also use this. Um, actually, you can cut this at in its unripened state like it is now. And if you like, you can make what are called fish patties out of this. Okay, a fish fillet. Okay, so I've also done that as well too with this fruit. So it's very sort of multi-dimensional. Okay, so I love it for that reason as well too. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack this one open because this is, as you can hear in the the birds in the background this is going to be my breakfast this morning so i'm gonna crack this open so you can kind of see what this looks like on the inside look how delicious that is <laughs> and one second despite it being called sour sop actually has a sweet taste to it in my opinion it tastes like, you know, growing up, we used to have the sour, the, like the sour apple Jolly Rancher. It tastes like a sour apple Jolly Rancher. So it's really delicious. And as you can see, each of the individual pods that you see here have a seed in them. So it's loaded with seeds as well, too. But this is by far one of the most medicinal fruits on the planet, both nutritious and delicious. So. Thank God for that. So what I'm gonna do now, is kind of give you a tour of the tree. All right, wipe sweat from my brow and give you a tour from the, of the tree. And that way you can get an idea of the whole process 
uh, the sour sop. Okay, so we're gonna take this off real quick. Okay, now what I want you to see here is this is a flower. Okay, that's a soon to be sour sop there, as you can see. And you can come here with me and you can see this is the sour sop fully grown, almost ready. Now, how you can tell one is ready, I'm gonna do a comparison with you real quick. All right, so we look at this one, right? This particular sour sap, you see the spikes are far apart, okay? And they're also very spiky when you see this one, okay? As opposed to this one, you can see the spikes have now come together, okay? They have now come together. And what you'll notice with the texture is that on the outside of it, it'll have a glossy, sort of a gloss, glossy texture to it. Almost like the glossy look on a, uh, a paperback book. That's how you know it's ready to pick. So as you can see, this tree is loaded. Um, have a, maybe see a few fruit there. Got some neighboring spider webs as well too. And again, this is just one of my favorite fruit on the farm that we have here. We got a mango tree right there. We got a so, so, uh, sapodilla tree right there. Um, more mangoes. We have a moringa tree right here. Uh, we have coconuts, so much more. But I thought this would be a really good video for us to do uh, on the channel so that you can kind of see individually um, how the process works. Because people see the fruit in the stores but what they don't ever get to see is what it looks like on the tree and i think what it looks like on the tree like that takes you from the process i showed you the flower literally to the fruit that you see here so if you enjoyed this video and want more videos just like this comment below let me know if you tried sour sap before uh again this is absolutely my favorite fruit in the world i i eat it not only because i love and enjoy the taste of the fruit but i eat it because it's also a form of prevention as well too and that's the whole thing i teach on this channel you don't wait till you get disease you live a lifestyle that is pre in prevention of disease so this is why i'm constantly eating the sour sour every day so if i'm not eating it I'm uh, either drinking the tea and um, also, like I told you, I make smoothies with it. And I also even make the, the sour sop fish patties as well too. It has to be unripe though, hard like this to be able to do that. So again, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, share this with other people. It's important that we know that when we start having these conversations around food as medicine, it's important that we know that what are those foods that are most medicinal? What are those superfoods like soursop that we don't know about, that we don't ever get to see anymore because we don't live in an agricultural society anymore? Okay, so I thought this would be a really good video to kind of share with you guys. Hear the birds in the background, hear the see the sun on my face, you know, lighten up my melanin and um, kind of give you a, a better idea of how to look at you know, food from a different perspective, okay? Now, here's the cool thing. You can't have this one, unfortunately. You can't have this sour sop. This one's mine, I'm gonna eat this one. But you can get your own at iheartfruitbox.com. I'll put the link in the bio. Our Heart Fruit Box is the, our company that we sell all our fruit through. So if you wanna go check out our fruit, check out the sour sop, amongst the other things, go check us out on iHeartFruitbox. Until the next time, peace and blessings and Godspeed.